Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixup Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really lovely pillow box um, that I thought I would share with you. Share with you. It's a really nice size. This is from a sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And then I've just um, gone to town with the decoration and really kind of blinged it up a bit. Um, I've used non-conventional Christmas colours um, and I, yeah, really, really like it. So this is a gift for a family member and I know they will love it, so uh, that's always good as well. Um, you can see here I've got ribbon, I've got, this is a hobby base um, snowflake die, this is a really lovely hobby base Christmas tree die, and then these are just some of my oval framelits, and I finished there with some heat embossing, some little um, Nuvo drops, and some little embellishments there as well. So, yeah, just added loads. I've also put this gold band through the middle there as well. So, yeah, dead dead easy to make. This is really, really straightforward. So let's crack on and make it. So you are going to need, pop that one over to one side. So I'm going to use the pink colours today. Now these papers are gorgeous. Um, huge 12 by 12 paper pack by um, Craftsmith and you get 48 sheets in this pack and as you can see it's just huge you've got ones with foiling um, you get two of every design and there's just some really lovely I mean that, that's another gorgeous one that's the one I used actually for that box um, lovely seashells mermaids there's, there's all sorts in there so yeah really really lovely huge pack that one um, so I am using today this pinky one here which I've already scored, so I'll talk you through all of that. I've already done my tag, so again, exactly the same way as before, and uh, this time I'm just using golds, heat embossed and everything. I'll share all the links and everything um, in the video description below. Um, I've already pre-cut my Christmas tree again here. I die cut two of them. This is the die here, it's a really nice big die. Die cut two of them and then stick them on top of each other. It just makes them a bit thicker. It's nice when you've got them hanging like that. And that's the Nouveau drops that I've used. These ones are White Blizzard. Okay, so that's those two pieces. So the card is 12 by 12 and then just to decorate, it's like half a belly band. This is five and three quarters by one and a quarter. Okay, so first of all, scoring your 12 by 12, well, scoring your 12 by 12 card um, or paper, um, you want to score at half an inch and at six and a quarter inch. Okay, let me just check. I think I've done it the other way before. Five and three quarters and 11, yeah. Or it's five and three quarters. And 11 and a half it doesn't matter um, either of those will work um, okay so that's the scoring done and get rid of your scoreboard and you will need some kind of oval um, you could use the size of the side of a plate you don't want something that's very um, you don't want circular you do want more oval um, because you don't want a deep curve you just want a, like an arch so you get more of an archy kind of, you know, a, yeah, you just don't want a deep curve line. Right, what you want to do, again, make sure you've got a surface that's got a little bit of, um, it's a bit soft, so you can score. And you're going to line up the top of your, whatever it is you're using, to the top of the card, okay, or the paper. So like so, just there, you can see, so I've just lined it up with the top here. Give yourself a little bit. Uh, paper on show but not much make sure it's all nice and straight and then you just basically from the edge of the card there you want to do a curve all the way over to that score line in the middle okay so I'm just scoring like so okay then move it across and again line it all up in place and it should meet the end of that um, just that curve that you just done there. Okay, so from that score line again and the bottom of that curve that you just scored, you then want to do another one, like so. Okay, then turn it upside down, and now what you want to do is you're going to join up, so lie your tool, your whatever it is you're using, 
so that it meets the two curved score lines joining that score line here and from there again you want to curve you want to score all the way around so that it meets the point of that curved score line that you've done there so you're just joining them all together and you can see there what I've already done so there's that curved line there that I've done on the top and then you can see the one that i just done there and they all meet up point to point okay so that's all those ones there you can see they've all joined on that score line there so I've already done that one as well and then you want to repeat exactly that on the bottom so you're just going to do exactly the same and you can see there the score line like so okay so when you've done that we then just need to do a little bit of cutting so what you want to do is the top one here, you're going to just cut it. And if you just kind of cut so you're removing the score line, so you get rid of all that kind of like bumpiness. And just cut that, and then you get to that point there. And start from this side here, like so. Okay, so just repeat that on the bottom as well. Okay, so that's all of that now all cut out. So you just want to carefully burnish those score lines. So do these two here, like so. And then with these ones here, if you just just carefully kind of bend them into their shape, like so. Okay. And then we can get this stuck down. I also forgot to mention you need some ribbon. So I've just got some white ribbon here that I'm going to use. Um, okay, so let's stick some tape along this score line here. Just make sure you're kind of hugging, sorry, this tab and just hug the score line. Clean those scissors now because it's all smudged on there. Um, okay, so just take off your tape, fold it over. And then fold your tab down and just bring this over and just kind of start at one end first. Make sure it's all nice and lined up. Okay, and then you can kind of feed the rest so you get it nice and lined up. Like so. Okay. So decide what you want to be the top and the bottom. I'm going to have this as the top here. And then with this piece here, it will fit perfectly in the middle. This is optional. This is, I just, I don't know. I just fancy putting more gold on it. So I'm just going to stick this down. Okay, and then you just want to pop this into the, the middle of where those kind of the curve piece comes in there. So I'm just going to... There we go. Okay, and uh, that's it. <laughs> it's done. So all you've got to do then is just pop in each side. So, because that's the bottom, do that and then do the top. And they just sit down. They kind of lock in themselves. So, you know, you can add tape if you've got... If there's people in your family that you know will try and open presents, then obviously I'd, I'd tape it down. But I know that I can just leave that like that and no one's going to go in it. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Okay, and then I'm just going to add all my little decorations. So there you have it. ribbon. Oh, maybe lost that. A gorgeous, very luxurious gift box there. And it fits so much in. And the nice thing about this is that now that's all in place, is you can just store these away flat pack so again I'm traveling um, back to the UK so I am making a lot of things that I can flat pack so those now can be stored neatly in between a, fi a file or something to keep it nice and flat and they just I think they're gorgeous so there you have it very very straightforward it's all down to the decoration and the card. I mean, this, this card is beautiful, so it's really kind of made these pop. 
um, but there you have it so I hope you liked this one from me um, the reason why this one is different in size is because um, I did make a few errors on that one and I refused to um, waste that card so um, I'll look at the measurements of that one I'll add it on my blog but with the 12 by 12 piece this is the size you get which I do prefer and I like that you get all of that card all used so there's no waste so there you have it, two beautiful pillow boxes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe um, to my channel so you get, to, uh, you get to see more. And hit the like button if you enjoyed today's uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.